Okay, so guys, now at this point of my life, I've gone to senior one. Okay, my mom is now. Now I'm in a boarding school. Life is, of course, beans and posho, but you know, now you're at least living your dream, guys. <laughs> Other people were operating from home. Now, the good thing is, once they knew that I'm the child of. Actually, most people didn't know me in that area. Most people did not know me in that area. But once they got to know that, something, I just lost something. It's okay. Once they got to know that I am a child of the cook, everyone, every teachers, my friends who are students, like they start, you know, for the teachers, they start kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not being sent for school fees. Yes, guys, I was living like a little princess, a little, a little, at least a little. Uh, Mid-term is coming. Kids have been sent for school fees. I am here. Not sent for school fees. But now the worst part of it is that uh, my mom was not getting any single coin. That woman never got any single coin. All her money would be chopped. I think I don't know how much they were paying her, but I know is no salary given to her. So, um, I remember uh, there's a part where my uh, my brother came in. She he start giving me shoppings every time when i'm beginning term i get to have uh, some shoppings guys do you know that uh is it mukwano family the big size <laughs> i will get that stuff all the like the the, the kids the, the the girls around are coming with the lemon lotion a eh, lotion lotion in the middle of the term towards the end of the term i'm the only one <laughs> having jelly <laughs> and then I, I become the supplier around hey people will be there coming but anyway in the beginning they're laughing at me in the end of the term i have something so life was you know not bad we went on my mom like me i told you i do not know this business of selling things but my mom had little business like she would sell things for the student for the student like uh, as like uh pancake uh -huh, that's the name pancake for a student now when she makes pancakes and then uh, you guys i am helping her to bring those stuff to the dormitory and sell to other students but she makes sure because she knows me she makes sure that she there's a portion she gives it that this is for you you eat with your friends of course you have you have a circle of friends this is for you you eat with your friend okay so this is where now i start making genuine friends like friends who love you the way you are someone friends don't love so i met a girl in term two so on all these stories of my life guys let me give you some juice 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 <laughs> hey, you might be asking me in my teenage life or in my second life did i not encounter with the, a, a guy who says he likes me yes guys all the guys around wanted me but then i found some of them are my relatives just that they didn't know me <laughs> but now also i had fear i had fear to date because the other side i never realized that i never had this kind of like you know you have to allow someone to date you you get so i had fear of getting married all people around there would get married i remember even some people uh my age meant they already getting married. They go and get married. Young age. As if they don't have anything to do. Now here I am. 
again also my commitment for studies guys a commitment for studies oh lord oh god again also the fear of the lord was in me all these things the rebellious life i went on i had fear of the lord i knew in primary, I was leading certain group. I would read scripture. They would give me Bible verses. I would read. Again, also there are times preachers will preach. I will go to the you know, pulpit. I will tell that I am saved. Now I'm living this life. Huh? No. And that's another thing that has attacked me. <laughs> Otherwise, without Christ, I will go far. I will go far. But also I had that fear. So there's this young man who was following me up. He's my first lover. <laughs> Village love. But now this guy, there's something about him was he was kind. I even thought that he did not belong to that place. Because every human creature in that place will want to grab you. Like it. Eh? And remember, I already encountered them. So me, I have fear. I'm so reserved. You don't just come here and grab grab me like, you know, how are you as if you knew me all the time? I'm not close. So I'm far away from people. So even people used to say that for you, you don't want to know your relatives. La, 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 la. I was not, I grew up not playing with the neighborhood. <laughs> So I want to have fun here. I'm not going to. I didn't bring myself here for you to to be starting to say I'm your this and that. Ah uh, uh, no 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 no. So I had that thing in me. So it brought fear, fear of getting married at early age, fear of not studying, fear of not in future helping my mama. Cause I've seen all my other siblings getting married, producing looking after their children looking after the other side of the clan not looking backwards towards my mama no and also my point was the moment i finished senior four my mama is out of this fire woman will fetch water you guys i told you i was tired of work but I will literally see this lady fetching water from borehole to the cooking side. Go, 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 go. Tired. We'll go serve porridge. I'll find her sweating. She's tired. We'll come and serve food. The only person who has seen how much my mom suffered was me. <laughs> I saw her suffering during my, when I was a baby. I saw how much she cried over her husband. I saw how she was working to make sure we had to just finish in her for. But none of that was for her. <laughs> she was doing, doing all sorts of things for us. People start calling me by her name. They would call me by her name. I never felt bad because but it was good. The only bad thing was it was sounding not disrespectful for me that they were calling her like that. You know? Especially the boys will stand right there at the dome. We want food. Ah the woman suffered guys i could see so in my prayer every time i will say that once i finish in afo i'm going to look for a job i don't care which job i would be that to make sure to make sure he gets out of that place he 
she goes goes away from that place but again also my younger brother our baby boy joined senior one we all started from the same school because we couldn't afford to go to other schools okay we all started from the same school that fear and my uh determination kept me going on so this young man followed me for uh a whole year i liked him I, he's the only understanding human being i found in that place like uh educated you know there are young kids who just want like they will just come as if they they have energy kind of like they want to you know they want to con like they have money you know because they are doing business so they were not gentle i found him among all them people as the gentle person and uh, i liked him he's very dark skin handsome yeah <laughs> so i thought he doesn't belong there because he would speak the language i knew because i was not good at the other language around there so when he speaks to me he will speak my language and i'm like maybe he doesn't belong here and then my friends will say ah that one they are ah and i realized that he they wanted him also hmm ah, i'm like okay now they are telling me that one has so many girlfriends let me not say to him but let me leave him i i kept on like that you know so he goes on every time he sees me he will make sure he walk to me and he will make sure that he he he, he speak to me kindly are you staying around are you are you can i escort you are you going back home like can i escort you we would have that journey of walk like if he has the bike he will take me back home using the motorbike like he is that gentle like that so at one point he i met him and he told me this is now me in my senior three eh he told me to tell him the truth do i love him hmm my friend hey you are the only gentleman i've seen here so there's no way i'm going to say i don't love i told him i love you we can be friends so there we become friends i uh, yeah. so again written terms uh i finished term uh, the whole of uh term three with him Ta uh no year three with him year, year four during my examination term three i was ready like now here comes a heartbreak oh guys the guy broke my heart have you ever been there you know and you feel like your you heart is burning I experienced that. I stood strong. I have to start for my senior four paper and I have to make sure I finished. And I didn't want to be in that village anymore. This is me who wanted to be there now this time around. I just want to go. But I can't tell my mama that eh, something happened to me like this. You know, a guy broke my heart. Ah, no, I have to stand strong because I have a <laughs> heartbreak will make you make mature decisions heartbreak will make you grow in a second hey, lo, lo, la, la. so i did my senior for papers we went for a holiday and this is now me looking at i have to look for job I have to look for job it doesn't matter what kind of job i have to be away from this small village this town that i have any more home okay from my senior four now my mind is all about i need to find job i need to find this i need to find this and that so in the middle of my thinking i need to find job 
I need to when I get job I'm going to make sure that I help my mom and all this and I'm not staying here that is the first thing I slept I slept praying to God that God help me I'm not staying here but nothing crossed my mind that I want to go back the other side during my primary mm -mm. I didn't know what kind of job I was looking for but all I needed was to find job here come my mama very early in the morning with the news mama called me and I'm like yes mama and she said your uncle called I'm like oh, okay what did he say see he said that he found job for you <laughs> guys this is the woman me who prayed to God God if you can only help me find a job this period and away from this village I'll be happiest ah guys some people can make you think God has answered your prayer <laughs> I said thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Father Ah, now mama goes ahead and she was like she said tomorrow very early in the morning you have to reach there you guys I packed my belongings of course I didn't take much I, I packed only things I can wear during of course the job whatever is there so in, in my head I'm like again also I have little doubt because surely my uncle okay this time mm, you guys that guy my uncle loves me in his own way. He loves me. Oh, he passed away. May his soul rest in peace. I packed. I went. Now in my head, I got a job so I can now help this poor mama a little. I never knew how much job would pay me, but what I know is at least a job there is wages where there's work that there is payment so i will be able to help my mama i reached i found my uncle my uncle took me now here we are going guy guess where we are going the job my mama told me now i'm looking at between my mom Ma and her brother uh. who lied to me. Hmm? What I know is my uncle will never lie. That man will never lie. He will say things the way they are point blank. Because for him, he commands. He will never mind about, you know, whether you want it or not. And he will not lie in his life. I've never seen him at least lying. No. But I think uh, what I get, uh, I came to realize was my mom lied. Because uh, I am quite sure she lied. Because she didn't know how to break that news. And I believe she can never say no to her brother. And she knew. I would refuse to go. But how did you know that I wanted a job or so? <laughs> but anyway, I think it's God's plan. It's all God's plan. Guys, I went. I reached. On top of my heart broken. No one knows what I was going through. Right here is another heart break. No job. I'm going back where I was from during my primary.